Hey, Shady. Yes, Arthur. How are you coping? How do you think? Just keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, okay. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About... <coughs> about how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. There, girl. Mm -hmm. There, there, girl. Soon. Place is getting to me. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. And the path shall become clear. I have been saved, Herr Strauss. You've got that!
Ain't moving. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them, just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, may as well protect the payment. should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Fine. Yeah. Go. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. I don't know where we can go, but I'll try. Pray for us. We're past praying, boy.
Hey! You there? Can you help? Sir! Some... Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. There he is. Whoa, easy. Easy does it, eh? You better calm you down. It's all right, boy. Easy there. Whoa, easy, easy. You're okay. This way. Come on. Now come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. Hamish <clears throat> hey, Sinclair. 
Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. <sighs> I can still hunt, fish. <sighs> Enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's Run there. Thanks again. Now, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Easy there. Yeah. Good girl. There. You done good, girl. There's a girl. Okay, girl. Ah, you okay? Yeah, you're doing good. You're good. That's it.
You got any business at the mine? Now I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Get out of here! Hey, move it! Hey, look out! On your way now. Penny for the blind. Okay, girl. Penny for the blind. This is London Derry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just we lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. you son of a bitch. 
What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Why? Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just dandy. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us, if we could be shamed any more than we already are. That should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now, yeah. Take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Thank you. 